Hello everyone, this is Professor Azat Ramadan. Welcome to the first episode of Tune to Finance. Now, in this series of videos, I'll be presenting some finance concepts. And usually everyone would, would be asking me and telling me that finance is quite boring. I don't know how you can handle this, how, how you work with that or you teach these concepts. Well, I believe finance is quite interesting, honestly. It's just as interesting as listening to a song or watching a movie, maybe reading a novel or a poem, I'd say. So throughout this series of movies or videos, I'll be showing you that finance is actually very interesting. And I'll be targeting some concepts in finance that I teach at the university. And tonight I start with one concept, which is the concept of buying on margin. And this concept is learned in my investment course. So all my students and any investment student would be benefiting from this video. So let's start with the concept of buying on margin. And usually buying on margin happens when the investor expects that the price will go up. So let's say the price P1 or Pn, which is the price in the future, will be higher than the price today, which is P0. So in this case, the buying on margin will be expectations of Pn higher than P0. So what's going to happen right now would be buying, for example, a certain security or financial instrument like stocks. So you end up buying stocks today so that you expect the price of these stocks will go up and in the future you'll sell these stocks at higher price knowing that or hopefully the prices will actually go up now if the prices in the future do not go up you'll end up losing so it's all based on how your expectations were right or not so if my expectation would be the price in the future being higher than the price today then of course there is a big chance of you gaining profit now, the best way to, to start with this example would be me buying some shares. So maybe I contact my broker to buy some shares. I'd say I want to buy Apple shares. And I consider that the price for Apple share today is $400. And all what I have right now is $4,000, which will only allow me to buy 10 shares. Yet. I expect to buy more shares so that in the future I would end up selling them and maybe gaining even more money. So the best way to do this buying on margin would be using your own money to buy some shares and borrowing more money to buy more shares. And at the end you sell the shares, receive your profit and pay your loan or debt back. So this is how it goes. Let's say I I can only afford $4,000. So let's write this down. So let's say price today would be $400. And I have my own money, would be $4,000. So, and let's say I want to borrow four other thousand dollars. So borrow four thousand dollars. Now I can find the number of shares that I can buy using this money and my total investment would be four thousand plus four thousand and this will be eight. So now in order for me to find the number of shares, not have the eraser here. So let's say I have eight thousand dollars and the price per share is four hundred dollars. So how many shares can I buy? So let's find this out. So I have number of shares to be simply total investment divided by P0 and this is 8,000 divided by what? 400 and in this
this case, you end up having 20 shares. So right now, as an initial investment, I have 20 shares with total investment of $8,000. Now, in this case, I need to calculate my initial margin. And the concept of margin would be the ratio of your own money compared to the whole total investment. So to calculate my initial margin, I simply divide so initial margin is dividing my own money, which is 4,000, so own money, divided by total investment. And that would be 4,000 over 8, and this is a half, or simply 50%. So this is the concept of my initial margin, and of course the initial margin would be at time zero, what is the ratio of my own money compared to the total investment? Now, that would be the first thing, which is the initial margin, and there are different types of margins. Now, the initial margin would be always at time zero. So, in case you want to ask, when is the initial margin calculated? It's definitely at time zero. So, I'm end up, I end up using P0. Now, there are other types of margin, and the margin is always changing based on the price of the stock. So right now, the price is 400, and this is my initial margin at time zero. Now, in case the price changes, my margin will change. And in this case, I have to find other formulas to calculate what's going on with the margin. Now, I'll talk about other types of margin, like the margin after time zero and maybe the maintenance margin in the next video. So we'll continue with our next video. Where, and again, thank you for watching and check, check on my second video for Tune to Finance.